What's up everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily add Amazon SES service or simple email service to your WordPress website. So you basically do need to have an Amazon and AWS account and then you can just use the free trial of it. It's available for the SE service and you can just use it. So I'm just uh, have the account here and I'm just going to add it to my WordPress website. So we are going to use a free plugin for this purpose. I just bring my admin panel and plugins and add new. And I search for yay SMTP. That's a very good plugin for this purpose. So it's here, yay SMTP. And I just click on install now. Okay, now that I have activated the plugin, we have a new section here, yay SMTP. I can just click on it. And uh, of course we want to select Amazon SES. There are lots of other options available here, but we are going to use Amazon SES for this, for this tutorial. And then uh, of course you do need an access key ID and secret access key. And um, you just uh, have to have these two. It's really easy. You can just sign up for AWS and then uh, you can uh, create them for the SES service. So here, uh, if you do not see Amazon SES service, you can just search for SES and it just brings Amazon simple email service. And basically what I have done here is I have verified my email address here. So basically when you just create your SES service, it's in the sandbox mode. So meaning that it's for testing purposes and you cannot send uh, emails to unverified uh, addresses and you can of course not use unverified addresses to send email from so you have to verify a few address or just one address here in the verified identities it's really simple to verify an email address you just get a verification email and you can just follow it to verify your address and also you have to add a user so here if i just bring security credentials and users well, you can see that uh, I have uh, some users here, so it's really simple. You just, if you do not have any user, you can just click on add a user. You definitely need to have a user because uh, that way you can just get the credentials. And then, of course, you want to check access key for programmatic access. This uh, will give you access key ID and secret access key, and then you can just uh, add your name here. For example, I can just type test here and add another okay we want only one user here and then i can just click on next and you want to give the permissions to your user so basically you want to uh, you can either uh, add a user to the group or to a group that has some permissions or you can just copy permissions from an existing existing group user or you can just attach existing policies directly so what you need to attach is SES basically the ability to search SES and you can just uh, add Amazon SES full access this is what you need and you can just click on next and you don't need any tags and you can just click on next review and basically it just creates your user and then uh, when you click on uh, create user it will give you the credentials so uh, you can just copy the credentials uh, of course you have to take care of your credentials you should not expose them to anyone and your secret access key uh, cannot be restored so if you lose it you have to regenerate of course you can easily re regenerate a new one but it just gives you the information here i have a user so i can just basically continue with the plugin so now i just use my access key id and secret access key which i already have and uh, you also cannot uh, send email from unverified uh, email addresses so you only have to use a verified email address or domain here for domains you have to uh, configure your dns but for email addresses it's really easy and uh, i have uh, some verified email addresses here and i can just use them so i just uh, bring uh, my uh, amazon page amazon aws page and Amazon Simple Email Service and Verified Identities. So I can just use my verified email address here instead of the from email. 
and you can just uh, choose any name that you want it's just fine and now I can just click on save changes so now the changes are saved and I can just test it so basically I can just test it and if everything is just fine and I get the email then it means that we are all done and any email would be sent uh, through uh, Amazon SES and you can just request uh, if you are in a sandbox mode you can just request to get out of sandbox mode and you can just basically start sending your email so here I can just click on send test email and here again you want to use a verified email address if you are in the sandbox mode so my account is in sandbox mode so i can only use verified email addresses and i can just use uh, my verified email address here uh, if you are not getting the email address uh, you may want to change your uh, from email address or uh, there is receiver email address because if they are the same it might sometimes cause problems so if you do not get it you might want to change it up so you are uh, sending emails to a different receiver than the email they're using in the from email and then i can just click on send email and basically just the email has been sent if i use another address here i get an error because i'm still in the sandbox mode and that's it everyone thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more wordpress content and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description